Good afternoon, guys. I got a phone call from some buddies saying that they were hungry in the field and they've got an open spot for an evening sit in a field for geese. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go pick up a Casey's Pizza for those guys. We're going to head out to the field and hopefully shoot some geese as they come in to feed this evening. It's about 2 o'clock, so we've got maybe two hours or so until they'll start flying. It's kind of cloudy, kind of sunny, north wind. It, anything could happen, but... Um, they said that they had some come in. They didn't get any shots off uh, when they were setting up about 11 o'clock. But let's go ahead, pick up that sausage pizza for the boys, and head on out there and hopefully shoot some honkers. Oh, yeah, baby. The boys are going to be happy. Now time to find my keys wherever the heck I put them. We'll head out to the field and say hello to them. You know, I'm kind of liking this right now. Just go hunt in the afternoon, don't have to go set up decoys, bring the boys pizza. I'm okay with this. I, this is, this is hunting right here. But, it's hard to say what's gonna happen. Sun's coming out, so the geese will probably end up feeding a little later than they would if it's cloudy. But, uh, you never know. Sometimes it's sunny, they come out to play at four o'clock. Sometimes they come out to play at two. You never really know right now. Um, it's about 20 to 30 degrees outside, so, I don't know, pretty typical late season day. Uh, ponds are just now starting to freeze, so. It's anybody's guess as to what's going to happen, but I've got my fingers crossed because Colby said that this field had a bunch of geese in it last night, like 800 or so. So, we'll just have to wait and see and see what the birds do, but, hey, we got pizza and I brought them some pop. And I had, I had Chipotle for lunch today, and that was about an hour ago, and it's like sitting like a rock in my gut. I can't like think about food right now. I don't wanna. <laughs> let's, go, let's go hunt and burn off some of this Chipotle burrito. It's a bit chilly. Gracias, here you go. Oh, yeah. The man right there. Man of the hour. Oh, yeah. I'll kill anything? Um, Unfortunately, no. He's been teaching us carving lessons. No. No, the thing is, like, the sun came out. And it's totally just been just, a rough day. Yeah, it's, it's been we a chilly up, we day. We came back out at 11, and as soon as we set up... Uh, as soon as we same, set up, we had, like, geese trying to land on us, and then... We had some, some snows waffle yeah. down to us and pick back up. It was pretty cool. First, almost shot some pigeon. Almost shot some pigeon, and that's about it. But there's, like, 800 in here last night, so hopefully here in, like, the next hour gonna be like insane yeah at least i hope well, yeah come on in come on in we got a little here for you you know oh, it's yeah, a, ran out. <laughs> oh. well it's the place to be about to chow down it's about 4 45 right now he should fly any minute we got a few decoys out there looking good and uh wind at our back the geese are going to come from the south where they're roosted up i've still got confidence in this they were in here pretty thick last night we had pretty much the same weather conditions so if everything goes as planned and they don't all get off the roost at once we might get a few volleys in before shooting light ends so we'll just st stick here waiting them out and uh hopefully they fly that's about all i gotta say about fingers that. crossed you guys anything? Uh, hopefully they fly. Yeah. Honestly. A little nervous. Okay. 800 in here last night. Now we haven't seen a single goose fly. Well, we did, but then, I don't know, conditions kind of changed. So, what, what can you do? Wait and see what happens. Yeah.
Well, that kind of sucks. Everything happened in the last 30 minutes and nothing came into play. We had one land and that's it. We had a bunch of specks flying around and specks aren't in season right now, so that's kind of good that they got up and left, but no Canada's wanted to play. A bunch of little geese rocking with the big geese and the big geese wanted in. Little geese didn't, and uh, so the big geese followed the little geese. And that's kind of the story that I've found happens most of the time when you got little geese and big geese mixed together. Makes things a little bit difficult, but uh, yeah, hey, not a bad day. Get to hang out with friends, be outside in the great outdoors, freeze my hands off. It's like 12 degrees out here, but still not a bad day to be out hunting. Every day you're hunting is a good day. Right, Colby, isn't that every, yeah. day, every day you're hunting? This yeah. boy, this boy said, oh, we don't want to shoot any. So, he, went, he went goose hunting well, not to shoot geese. Okay, explain yourself. Okay, so this this field is money. I'm telling you, this field, I think, here in the late, well, I guess it is late, but uh, one of these cold fronts comes in. I'm telling you, a foggy, cold, cloudy morning. There's like ears of full ears of corn everywhere. So I think that it was smart not to bust in when there's how many, 500 geese flying around us we had a few shot so we had a few that we could have poked at one for sure so you know i'm okay with how this went yeah i'm just i'm just poking fun at him <laughs> i like i hope you know it was a good thing we didn't shoot with that many geese flying around and hopefully you know they didn't get i mean they're already educated but hopefully they know they they're comfortable i mean they landed what 200 yards up the hill yeah, so i like hopefully it's a good thing we didn't shoot and we can get in this field again and really hammer them. But, but yeah, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. So it's time to get on home, warm the toes up, and sit by the fireplace and relax for an evening. Nope. Oh. That could go into some bloopers. Yeah. Good morning, guys. We're set up on a river and uh, we're gonna do some duck and goose hunting. We had to go probably a 30 to 45 minute boat ride up here, get dropped off and uh, heading down there. The guy who drove us up here is picking up Joe and uh, he'll be back up, so. We got about an hour to get things set up and hopefully shoot some birds. We kicked up a ton of birds. Massive off of amount. There was so many geese, like, I don't know. There, there was, was just, a lot. There's a bunch. A lot of ducks, a lot of geese on this sandbar here. So we got an A-frame and a bunch of decoys. We're going to try our luck out here and hopefully make some late season magic happen. We got two days left of duck season, today and tomorrow. So hopefully we can get on some ducks today. But we got a lot of work to get done and birds are flying, so gotta check in with you guys later. You got them flex floating hours, bro. Time to get in the blind. He might, might spin around. around. <laughs> okay, we're all set up. We just had a duck playing with us there. But uh, we got the A-frame set up on the sandbar. We got all the shells along the bank. We brought silhouettes and socks to throw out. But the, the sand is so compacted, you cannot get any of those little stakes in the ground. So. It's either shells or ring bases out here. That's a mental note for the next time. But we got all these floaters out. We got probably two dozen duck floaters and uh, two dozen honker floaters. And we're in a decent spot because uh, we kicked up probably a couple thousand birds out of here. I've heard on this river that the birds, they just kind of hop between these sandbars. And uh, so we'll see what happens today. We've had a lot of ducks flying the river, checking things out. So. I'm ready to start hunting, so let's go ahead and get in the blind. 
Oh, flying low on the left. <laughs> Right. Yeah, down. My I wonder how much a flag would have helped us out. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, right here. Yep, Coming right over here, boys. Sh shoot those. Those are mallards. Those are mallards. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. Mallards! Mallards, bro! <laughs> Damn, he was up there too. Couldn't even get him with my tee shot. No, Please be banded. <laughs> Look at that pretty duck. Hey, get him. I was aiming at that one. <laughs> right here, buddy. Right here. Finally, not a merganser. <laughs> We got a goose, boys! Well guys, that's about it for today's video. This was two hunts kind of slapped together all in one. I didn't, they were both kind of just crappy hunts. And on the river, we did end up shooting a few birds. We shot two mergansers, one mallard, and one goose. So it wasn't a horrible day. It was just kind of a fun, different experience to get out on the river. I've never hunted a river before, and uh, you know, I might get into doing that. Maybe, maybe. I need to figure out how to get a motor on a boat. Maybe a boat that I own because I've got three kayaks. And I think a mud motor on a kayak, I think that'd be pretty sweet to do. So I'm thinking of ideas. So I'm trying to drop a little hint on something I might want to try and do over the summer. I don't know if it's a practical idea, but it's something that I'm going to be doing some research for. But you know, all in all, this was kind of like the last uh, this was the last duck that I shot for the 2019-2020 season. You know, that's just kind of how it goes. We still got goose season going on right now, so it's not completely over. I'm not super sad quite yet. We still have a little bit to go before goose season ends, but, you know, that's just kind of how it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I did launch these new hats. These are the Spoonies Bro hats. You guys asked for them. You guys got them now, so... There's a link in the description if you guys want to check those out. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will catch you guys on the next one.